It's 2023, and you're making a New Year's resolution to make this year the best year it can ever be. Stop. Don't make a New Year's resolution that's based around a goal, but instead change your system, the process by which you get to that goal, and the goals will achieve themselves. Hi everyone. You might have heard of this book, but it's called Atomic Habits by James Clear, and in it, he writes essentially that the idea of goal setting can actually be counterintuitive for four reasons. So with goal setting, Clear notes four particular reasons why it can be problematic. One, winners and losers have the same goal. So what differentiates them? Think of all of those famous athletes that do incredibly well. For example, Serena Williams or Michael Jordan. They all have the same goal as the other players. What makes them so great? It's the system that they have. Whether it's making sure each and every movement you make is well practiced and it becomes a part of your daily routine, it makes it that much easier for you to perform well when the games come around. If you know how to master the flick of the wrist for perhaps tennis, You'll, it'll become part of you so well that when the game comes, you won't even have to think about it. And that makes you 1% better, for example, than the other players. And all of that adds up. In this book, Clear gives an example. There's this British racing bicycling team, and this is a true story, uh, where the team does really bad, like they always lose. But this new coach comes in, and this coach tries to revolutionize each and everything about that team whether it's changing their outfits to make them more aerodynamic, cleaning the bicycles really well to make sure not even a little bit of dust is on the bicycles, and tiny things like that, making sure the athletes know how to wash their hands so they get sick less. All of this adds up, even though it's just slight changes that seemingly wouldn't make a difference in winning a race. They all do add up, and they start winning everything. And that just goes to show that the system is what changes, and that is what's going to help you solve your goals. Two, achieving a goal is only a momentary change. For example, let's say your goal for this year is to keep your room tidy clean. But every day, you come home from work or school, and you put your backpack down, you lay your clothes on your bed, your bed is not made in the mornings, and it's overall a mess, and you do this every day. So let's say tomorrow you decide to clean it up, and now it's clean. Yay, you cleaned it, but it's going to stay for maybe two days. And every day you're going to come back and make the same mess again. Because the system didn't change, the goal was only a momentary change. And what's the point of that? You want to make sure your goals stay for a lifetime. Otherwise, there's really no point of achieving a goal if you can't keep up that joy over time. Three. Goals restrict your happiness. You and I both know this well. We work so hard to achieve a goal, and it's incredibly boring or very hard to do. And once we get the goal, we're all excited and happy. But after that wears off, after a few days, where are you again? Back at square one. We focus so much on the goal that the journey becomes a grueling process that sucks the life out of us. If we spend five years trying to achieve a goal and those five years was spent in a very, very uncomfortable place, you're not going to really enjoy your five years. You're pretty much wasting your time for that goal. But instead, if we change our system so well that it becomes a habit of ours, the goals will achieve themselves. The goals will come to you easy. Four. Goals are at odds with our progress. If we think of our goals as a place that we want to be, we will work towards it, and once we get it, we'll be so exhausted that we don't want to continue with our goal. And so, it becomes a counterintuitive process. So, how do we fix this? Change the little things in your life that will get you to your goal. If your goal is to work out more, don't make the goal going to the gym once a week for two hours straight and going really hard. Instead, make your goal something that's only a little better, but something that will be so consistent it will become part of your journey, part of your habits. 
go to the gym only 15 minutes a day, or go outside and walk for 15 minutes a day, but do it daily. And it will become part of you. It won't be hard to do because you'll already achieve it because it's part of your routine. And if you are able to do 15 minutes a day, you can increase it slowly and slowly. And you'll be way better than if you had set your lofty goal earlier that you can't achieve. In this book, he talks about compound interest being very similar with habits. Let's say we get 1% better. So let's say you're at 1, you want to be 1.01 every day, a little bit better. If you do 1.01 to the 365th power, you would get 37. You would be 37 times better if you just improved yourself only 1% a day. Let's say you're not improving every day. 0 0.99 to the 365th power gets you close to zero. So after a year, you'd be way worse than when you started. So that just goes to show that simple 1% improvements in your life and your daily routine will change your entire world, really. My goal, for one, is to use social media less. And I know I'm saying that on a YouTube video, which is pretty funny, but my goal is to use it less. And because that's a goal, I need to now think instead, what do I need to change in my system to achieve this goal? So what I need to do is delete Instagram, delete Snapchat, and just keep them away from me so it becomes part of my routine. If I don't even have the means to access Snapchat, it will slowly fade away until I can't even remember it anymore. 365 days from now, my screen time will have been way lower than if I set my goal to use Snapchat less and keep the app on my phone. The system is what needs to change. 2022 was great, let's say. You had many goals, you achieved a lot of them but you also had some other goals that you didn't achieve. Now, you're trying to make sure 2023 is better by making sure all those goals are achieved, right? New Year's Day is a day, like any other day. To make a true change, start the day you think of that change. There's no difference between starting a goal on January 1st or on March 3rd, or even December 29th. There is no difference. All right, I hope this was really helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. What will you do to change your system for this year? All right, see you soon.